Hi everyone, good afternoon. I hope everyone's hanging in there. Um, so today we are starting our first ever video cooking class. Now today we are going to be making some animal toast. It can be any animal of your choice. Today Mr. Blair is going to be making a bear. It kind of looks like this. I got a little hungry earlier so I took a little bite. But I'm going to show you step by step how to create this wonderful design. So it's a 10 step process. Now I have it all written out here so we can all kind of take a look on what's going to happen. So let's start with number one. Step one, ask your permissions, oh, sorry, ask your parents for permission. This is crucial. You should never be in a kitchen by yourself, unattended without a parent. It is nice to have your parents around assisting in these exercises. So step number two, wash your hands. Step three, toast our bread. Step four, put the spread on our bread. Step five, Make, sorry, wash and cut fruit with a parent. Again, it's nice to have your parents around to assist you with these types of uh, steps. Step number six, make eyes on our animal. Step seven, make a nose. Step eight, make some ears. Step nine, what else could you add? You know, certain animals have different things. In this case, we are making a bear, so we'll see. Step 10, eat it and enjoy. Personally, that's my favorite part. I hope it's yours. Anyways, let's begin. So, step number one, ask your parents, Mom, can I make some uh, animal toast with Mr. Blair? Yes, son. Anyways, so step number two, we're gonna go wash our hands. So, I'm over at the sink, I got my soap in hand with warm water. You're gonna scrub your hands together. And then you're going to apply some warm water, scrub those bubbles together. If you want, you can sing your ABCs, you can sing happy birthday. By the time you're done, you should probably have killed all the bacteria on your hands. It is very important that you're constantly washing your hands when you're cooking. Because you don't want to you know, have any bacteria added from germs from the floor, or playing with your cars, or playing with your dolls. Because... You know, we're in a time right now where we don't want to pass germs along, especially with our food. So, now, since we've done step one and two, we're on to step three. Toast our bread. Now, if you don't like toast, you can obviously use bread. And I understand for those that have a gluten-free intolerance, just use gluten-free ingredients. So, let's toast our bread. As we sit here and wait for our toast to um, toast, I guess, we can start cutting our fruit or just taking our time to wait patiently for our toast to finish. Nope, well, there it is. It is all done. So, now we're on to step number four. Step number four, put your spread on your bread. In this case, I have a peanut butter. Again, if you have a peanut butter, to, uh, peanut butter intolerance for to nuts, you can use something like wild butter. If you are gluten intolerant, you just use gluten-free in, um, ingredients and you just make sure that you're keeping yourself safe. So, let me grab some spread, which is peanut butter. Sometimes you can use, you know, jam, cream cheese, whatever you like. In this case, I'm using peanut butter. So I'll spread my peanut butter all over. And when you're done, it's going to look like this. Peanut butter on bread, woo! So, Step number five, we're almost halfway done. Wash and cut fruit with your parent. So in this case, again, you're gonna start washing your fruit and your parents are gonna be around to assist with this. In this case, Chef Blair has already washed his blueberries. He's cut his bananas and washed and he's poured his Cheerios. So now that we've done that, we're going to make eyes on our bread. We're going to start with two blueberries. One, two. So put those on, on your bread. Then you're going to make a nose. So with one of your, your, your banana peels, sorry, your banana slices, you can use that for your nose. You put, plunk that right into the middle. Boom. And you're going to use another blueberry for your nose. Okay. Now we're going to make some ears. With your last two slices of bananas, those will become your ears. One there, 
and run there. Your ears are going to go to the top of your bread, kind of like up here where your ears are. Next is step nine. What else could we add? Some, some animals have whiskers, some have fins. In this case, I'm making a bear, so I need to put a mouth. So I'm going to use my Cheerios and make a mouth. Three, four, five, six. All right. Now, let's take a look. How does my bear look? Not too bad, hey? Next is step 10. Personally, it's my favorite step. Eat it and enjoy. Well, let's take a bite and find out if it's tasty. Mmm, that's pretty good. Now, if you're home and you want to make these for your siblings, by all means, you can make a couple of different ones of these. You can make an, uh, a bear, you can make a fish. Just get creative. Enjoy what you're making and have fun doing it. Anyways, until next week, have fun and we'll, have, we'll see you next week. Goodbye now.